Hello my delicious co-creators, Lilu here. I'm in Switzerland today on the magnifique Lac Léman that is behind us with Gilly. Hello. Hi. Thank you for accepting to do this interview on those, we're going to talk about ear candles. Have you heard of this? Have you tried? I just asked a few questions to Gilly earlier in the French version of this interview and I wanted to do it in English because there's a lot of uh, disinformation I think about this topic, huh? I think you could say that. Even the name, when people call it uh, Hopi Candles, which yes. is quite wrong. Well, let's start, let's start right there then, since you're, you're starting on the Hopi, uh, because I was around, I, I just uh, really enjoyed interviewing the Hopis themselves. And so here we're going to have this conversation. It has nothing to do with the Hopis, is it? No, it has nothing to do with them at all. And in fact, they get quite fed up with the fact that people use their name uh, for a practice that they say they've never used. And also, obviously, nobody pays them anything. They're much too poor to be able to do anything about it. One company in France has, in fact, patented the name, which it should have had no right to do. But they don't have the money to fight a case. So these are those candles. I want them mm -hmm. to. You, you have probably seen them. They're right here. Tell us what they're made of. You've been you've been interested by those candles first of all for for 25 years, huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, the candles I use. Well, there are two sorts actually. There's a cone, um, which is probably more suitable for children because it's shorter. It has a little filter stuck on the end, which means that nothing can drop into the ear, or the classic candle that I prefer which is also has a little filter inside so that nothing could drop into the ear. They're made from um, organic linen um, impregnated with organic beeswax and organic honey. Um, some of them have uh, propolis in them, some of them have lavender, all sorts of essential oils um, to, to enhance the perfume, to enhance what they do. So I've been using them for quite some time. From my understanding, the more wax there was in them, the better it was. I was using the uh, aluminium filter because I thought this is way more powerful. There's a lot more coming out of my ear. Tell us, tell us how what really everything of this is because I think there's a lot of uh, disinformation out there. Well, aluminium is well known as a heavy metal. Yeah. So I would have thought really that warming aluminium and putting it in your ear is not a frightfully good um Uh, not a frightfully good idea. Perhaps one day, because they said that Alzheimer's has a connection with aluminium, they're going to find that people using aluminium foil bougie uh, candles are perhaps yeah. having problems yeah. elsewhere. Um, no, it's just the, the, the end of it was in aluminium. I wonder why that is. No. Well, they say that it's a reflector and it, it, uh, it warms, but I don't see there's any difference whatsoever. It's just like people saying one candle's better than another. To me, it's the principle that's the most important. Um, what does happen, actually, is that what you find in the base of the candle, if you open it, um, has got nothing to do with what was in the ear. And if you look at the little piece between the, the, the part that's gone into the ear and the filter, you'll find absolutely nothing. All the residue is the other side. Oh my goodness, we have a big boat behind us. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. There's a magnificent uh, Swiss flag behind it. Yes, they, they're very keen on their flag. Huh? They <laughs> fly it everywhere. <laughs> so, so it has nothing to do with the excess of, of uh, wax that could be in the ear? No, not at all. Sometimes you'll find after you've done um, a treatment um, that you, 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 there's a little tiny piece of wax that comes out the next day. Which means it softened it and it started to it started to work because basically our ears don't need cleaning. Um, they say you should never put anything smaller than an elbow in your ear. Um, and those cotton buds and things like that tend to compact the wax and make it hard, and they stop it, uh, they stop it circulating. I mean, it's supposed to clean itself the ear. But then it's a little bit yellow on the outside. It's not very aesthetic. Well, I know, and it's enjoyable to use a cotton bud. Um, I mean, you can you use scratch it. a little bit, and even huh? yes, it could become round, perhaps the periphery, but not. You know, I mean, um, somebody I know actually had a nasty accident where he uh, slipped and he perforated the eardrum with a cotton bud, which was very nasty. Yeah. So how does this work, really? What does really happen? Why, why do you recommend to people to use these ear, ear uh, candles? Uh, what happens is that um, 
the energy, which is something that's all around us, everything's made of energy, circulates down in a spiral. And what it does, it stimulates the immune system. It, there's the warmth of the candle. It's not hot. It's just a gentle warmth. Stimulates the immune system. And once you've got the immune system circulating around the body, obviously it's going to be picking up all the rubbish, taking it through the ganglions. It's going to be working more more effectively as the lymph system doesn't have a pump to pump it round um, if you don't move if you don't do anything to make it move it will stay static and that's that's when it it is not it doesn't function properly it's not like the heart which pumps whether you're lying down or standing up or doing anything so you need to clean it yourself well not clean it yourself but you need to stimulate this as often as we want is there a limit not really um A couple I love the not really that is so British. I love it. You <laughs> British out there, I just it's gorgeous. <laughs> oh. um. I, I just love it. I have to say it. Sorry. What can I say? <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's sorry, let's continue on the interview. <laughs> You can use it. Uh, you can use them as often as you like. Um, a couple of weeks ago when I had um, sinusitis, I used them every day for, for five days. One day I did them twice. And I could feel the day I did them twice, I could really feel that when I went to bed, my nose was complete, my sinuses were completely clear. And I noticed that after about four days, my temperature was down. So, um, you know, the candles. Yeah. So it dries up. It dries up the damp energy. Um, again, we're aware of this word energy again. Sinusitis or a cold or a flu, it's all damp. It's, it's humid. And what the, what the candle does is basically warm, warm it so that it changes, it changes um, the way it is. Um, uh, my analogy is always making a fire in a cold room. Um, when you go into a cold room, you, you light a fire and the room gets warm. But you don't say, where did the cold go? I mean, did it leave by the door? What you say is, well, the warmth changed the cold into warmth. And that's what the candles do for things like sinusitis. They just change the, the energy. What is it good for? Sinusitis, migraine, some forms of acouphen, uh, some forms of tinnitus. Um, I find them very useful because when I used to take a plane, when I was arriving, if the plane had to stack, I would often get a pain behind the ears because the eustachian tubes are probably a little bit um, tight. Um, and I find now that I don't get that sort of problem. Uh, people who dive and swim um, often have problems. They get water in the ear, which they can't seem to get rid of. Um, children, children absolutely love them. There are just all sorts of reasons why you would use the candles. And you were telling me in a French interview that you don't even really have to put them on the in the ear. No, uh, you, well, no, you can use them anywhere on the body. Um, But the eye, the mouth and the... No, no, when I say on the body, definitely, definitely just on the, um, on the skin parts. Huh? Yeah. Um, somebody was telling me that she had a friend who wanted to get pregnant and she was having difficulty because she didn't really like the changes that it was going to cause on her body. So she did the candle um, in her navel several times and the lady got pregnant within a very short period. Now I'm not saying that the candle did that. All I'm saying is that it could possibly have released something in which, yeah. in which made her... Yeah. What is it not good for? Because we're talking of the eczema problems too. Some people scratch their ear like uh, uh, it gets nervous and that might not be the, the right thing. And there's some other things. If you have eczema in the ear, that's a contraindication. Why? Because eczema is dry and the candles are going to warm and dry even more. So that's going to be very uncomfortable. If you've had a recent um, neck or, or head injury, um, a blow to the neck or the head, then, then it's not good to use them. I've trained a few osteopaths, so they're quite good at knowing when you can use them. Sometimes if you have irritation in the ear, it's candida. And what has happened with a couple of people is that they've said, oh, I've used the candles and then I got an infection. What probably happened is that the candles started to stimulate the immune system because possibly their cervical vertebrae are misaligned. The, the, the lymph couldn't go any further and it set up an infection in the ear. To me, that is a sign that they need to visit a cranial osteopath because it started to circulate, but it just couldn't get any further as it was blocked at the back. So it can really open up some things. It can indeed. One of the things it's supposed to do is balance the right and the left hemispheres of the brain. And there have been stories of people um, using the candles, young people, and becoming much more um, outgoing. 
Um, I've also heard a story of somebody who accompanied his son um, for several treatments, and he always found that he slept much better. Yeah. Oh, and I find Quite relaxing when I have yeah. the candles. I mean, that really gives me a deep, deep sleep. Uh, amazing. What are some of the things we should be looking for, or brands that you recommend, or? Not particularly. The candles have to be well made. Um, if they're white, that means they've been uh, bleached or they're made from synthetic fibers. They should be beige, yellowy. Um, they should be made from organic materials. I mean, normally um, they, they should, uh, that, that will say. And for me, one of the most important things is the filter. There must be a filter. I think inside plastic filter inside the candle I've got, some of them are plastic filters these are sort of little plastic filters with a cross on and I've got other candles where they've got different kinds of can um, like a piece of netting okay yeah yeah because some of them they don't really they're not already inside but here they're already inside and they have like this much space of non-filter uh, that's right and the, the the cone this particular cone has um, has a filter on the end Interesting. So it's better to buy them directly with the filter incorporated. Yes, you 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 must. There is a brand that's now um, selling you the you know they give you the filter with it. A brand in France. They've just started where you you poke the filter yeah. in, which is okay. But I did use on one or two occasions one or two candles without filter, and on one occasion I burnt somebody. Yeah. Um, so I never ever ever use them again. Yeah, and it's important to leave some room. Some room? Some room uh, right here between the filter and the end of the... Uh, yeah, well, th yes, so that, that's usually... The, the filter's done in such a way that there is... Yeah. And also, if you're doing the candles on the body, you don't need to undress. You can just get um, a paper handkerchief and put the, just put the, put the candle on the paper handkerchief so that it doesn't soil your clothes. But you don't necessarily need to undress. Okay, I see. And this, is, this, is, this brand is the, the main brand, Biosun? Biosun, I think, is the world market leader, and they, they sell millions every year. They're extremely good, and I use them for many years. I tend to find they're a little bit expensive now, and I buy candles from a supplier in France. Um, he's a very small producer, and um, I like his candles. They're all organic, um, and he gives me an excellent price. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And um, there's some doctors that are really not happy with this. They're against it. What do you tell them? What's the deal here? There are. Um, women doctors tend to be more open, as do um, Asian doctors. Um, yes, I've come across doctors who just don't see... Well, if you don't really understand how energy works, it is rather difficult. And they say they cause damage. Now, for example, if you go to the doctor and you say, I use the candles and I've got an infection. Aha, the candles gave you the infection. Whereas... That's not right at all. They've started up something that was there and they've set it off. And often with all kinds of complementary medicine, you feel worse before you feel better. And you think, oh, that didn't work. But if, it, if you do feel worse, I think, oh, great, that means it's working. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gilly, for this conversation and doing it in French and in English. You're bilingual. I love this. Thank you. Well, I'm not really bilingual. My French isn't really perfect. Oh, really? <laughs> I just love it. Oh, my goodness. This was great. Very informative. Thank you so much, Gilly. Thank you. Have a beautiful end of the day. And uh, in Montreux, you're from Geneva. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Lilo. It's been absolutely great. I really enjoyed it. And we're just going to beat the rain, I think. Yes. Yes. And I'm just about to do some ear candles right now later on for this relaxing day after all these interviews. It'll be so wonderful. Thank <laughs> you. Really inspiring. Much, much love, my delicious co-creators from Switzerland. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>